every every uh, sculpture that I do, regardless of its size, starts with the artwork. So this, I sculpt in numerous places, but this is one of the stations that I I use. And because this video is about the tools that I use, let me run through it with you a little bit. Okay, so once again, a little bit of a, a Heath Robinson tool, but this is a sculpture table that enables me to um, sculpt at pretty much whatever level I am comfortable at. There's nothing worse. I'm tall and a terrible posture at the best of times. So what I need to do is, is that ideally I want to be comfortable, you know, for the times that we sculpt for hours and hours and hours on end. So I've got to be at a height that's really, really comfortable. Also, that I can really be steady where I need to be steady, where there's finer detail that needs to be put on, etc., etc. So this is a bit of a, a wonky, topsy-turvy uh, sculpture table, but it's robust and it's done many, many happy hours with me. One of the most useful sculpture tools I use is a porcupine quill. I'm sure most of you know what that is. That comes from a porcupine, Africa's largest, largest rodent, and it is a fantastic animal, but more about that another day. I think a lot of people think that I make use of this tool because it sounds cool. It's, uh, it's from Africa, and I'm, you know, I was a guide for many years, so I'm using natural tools. No, not at all. If you look closely at a porcupine quill, it's got a very sharp end on this side, and it's got a curved end. This is actually the root that goes into the body itself, the body of the animal. And it's got sort of a, 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 a shape on, it's got a sharpish edge, but it's got a round blunt edge to it too. So when I'm wanting to just flatten an area, I can use that. If I'm wanting to even cut or I'm wanting to do some very fine detail, you've got that, or I use the side of it to fill in some gaps. Right. So, no, I don't use it because it sounds cool. I use it because it's just one of the most important tools in my arsenal, um, particularly, as I said, for fine detail. Eyes, little bits of hair and ears. Without a doubt, the most important tool for a sculptor, hands. I use my hands for literally the vast majority of my sculptures. So, if I'm wanting to put a rib on this animal, for instance, um, then I do that. I don't necessarily take a tool like that and sculpt a rib. Yes, I may well need that to, to rectify a problem or to redo something. But as a rule, if I want to do something, I use my hands as much as I can. And hence the rather loose nature um, of my artworks. Once again, organization is good. The worst thing you want to do is actually really battle when you try to find a tool. So I made a rather hastily put together contraption and that is welded out of aluminium um, and I can take it on and off. I can put it on my Land Rover if I'm sculpting in the bush. Um, it bolts onto any sort of pole and that enables me to hold all the tools. The vast majority of them um, and some of you may well know what these things are when you've got that butcher of a dentist standing over you and he's hacking at your mouth. Disused, old and broken dentist tools or dentistry tools. I find those um, very, very useful. I might make use of, of even bigger tools. I mean, there's, you'll find there's machetes that, that I will take on a big monumental life-size piece, hack away at a piece pull material left and right, sticks, you know, we, we make use of all sorts of tools. I say whatever works goes and whatever works for you as an artist is what's important, not what a textbook would say or somebody says you must use. So there, there it is basically, there's a, um, look, there's another porcupine quill, slightly different in length, well not much, but uh, they come in all different shapes and sizes, well not necessarily shapes, but different lengths, porcupine quills and sizes. Um, so, all sorts of little spatulas, blades, um, right, quite important when one sculptors, when, when you're doing sculpture and you need to look, check your dimensions, 
it's always very good to have a set of calipers and on that though you can check things. So those are essentially the tools that I make use of um, in order to do what I do. Once again, let's be clear, concise, it's never battle to find a tool, otherwise things become frustrating and frustrating and a frustrated artist never does their best work. That's debatable.